Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plight. In this video recipe, I'm going to take you to Sicily because we are making pasta alla norma, a classic Sicilian recipe, pasta recipe that comes from the city of Catania. Now, last year I went to Sicily. You can watch my vlog up here when I went to Taormina. Beautiful, beautiful place. I love Sicily and I love Sicilian people. Um, and when I went there, when I, while I was there, I was on a mission to find the best pasta alla norma recipe because pasta alla norma, it's uh, eggplant, eggplant pasta, vegetarian, simple, uh, but extremely delicious. I, I just went to different places just to try, not, not to get a whole plate, but I had to try and make sure I got the right, the right recipe. Now, I got two good recipes. One was from a lady from Catania and this other one was from a guy from Messina who lives in Taormina. And his girlfriend is from Catania. So what I've done, I've combined these two recipes I've got and I made my own version, my way. And I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing and every Sicilian will love it, you know? And um, let's go into details. First thing to do is to fry the eggplants. And we want to cut the eggplant just that, without, like that. So cut the top part, cut into rounds, and then what we do, we put one on top of each other and we make, like, we make strips, eggplant strips. Once we got them, we want to fry them. The oil should be nice and warm before you start frying. Once they're ready, make sure you put them on the side on a nice um, um, kitchen paper so they, the oil gets absorbed. And that's the color they should be. That's when it's ready. See, it's nice and brown. Look how beautiful is that. Oh my God, fried food is so delicious. Ah. Now, cut the garlic into small small pieces very very tiny very small and then we put them in a nice uh, saucepan with extra virgin olive oil and we cook them on a low heat otherwise they burn if you see the burning just add a little bit of water but it's best not to burn them now when you peel tomatoes make sure you get italian tomatoes because they are the best in the world put some um, uh, salt and then you squash them so you get the beautiful sauce out of it now you put a little bit of pepper because it's very important. I like to use oregano or just um, marjoram and thyme. Of course, uh, basil, <laughs> the basil is extremely important. You mix it very, very well. When you put it in the saucepan, your kitchen will smell amazing. The reason why I use Casarecce is because the original Sicilian recipe is maccheroncini. Over the years, people have been using rigatoni and penne, especially if you're not in Sicily. If you're outside Sicily, it's not easy to find maccheroncini. But guys, caserecce are the closest thing to maccheroncini. So just make sure you make it with this pasta and you will be right in Sicily. Now it's time to cook the pasta. So we boil the pasta in a large pot full of water and you add sea salt or rock salt. Now the tomato sauce is ready. So make sure you keep cooking it on a low heat, otherwise you burn it. Before we put the pasta in, you want to use the eggplant. Not all of them, because we need some for decoration at the end. So I like to put eggplant first to mix it with the tomato sauce. And what I also like to do, which is my touch, I like to put the ricotta salata a little bit in the sauce. It should go just at the end in the original recipes, but I like to put some in the sauce just to give the extra taste. And I love cheese. Do you love cheese? Make sure you write a comment below and let me know what you think. Now, look at this beautiful pasta. Look how beautiful it is. You mix it very well. You want every single pasta to have the tomato sauce on it. Now, again, you put the ricotta salata. Just put as much as you like. That's the best cheese to use for this dish. Now, the stunning dish, the stunning pasta can be served. Put it in a nice plate. Just be proud. Be proud of, of serving this dish. It's a beautiful, authentic Italian dish. Now it's the best part to put the ricotta. Just put as much as you like. Yeah, stunning. You want to put the eggplant on top to, for decoration, a leaf of basil, and now we are ready to eat. This is heaven, guys. If you have never been to Sicily, make sure you go. And if you have been to Sicily, make sure you tell me where to go and what to eat when you went. Apparently this pasta was created, was dedicated to an opera called Norma. Guys, uh, there's no need for me to comment. Look at that. I just need your comment to tell me how amazing, how amazing this pasta is. This is the best pasta la Norma you ever seen in your life. Now, I'm going to eat. Thank you very much for watching this show. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you write a comment below, like my video and check out my website because all my recipes are there. Written recipes with beautiful photos. I'm so passionate about photos, so make sure, go and check it out. Time for me to eat. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mm.
Norma! Mm.